Hi, <clears throat> this contraption here is called a wee wee stick. H U I, wee wee stick. Uh, <clears throat> and it's basically just a piece of wood notched with a nail in one end and some kind of propeller. Um, there are various different types of these. Uh, <clears throat> This is another one, you can see the notches and the little propeller at the end. And the idea is that you make one of these and uh, when you rub it, the propeller goes round and round. Now some people rub it and nothing happens at all. Some people find it goes the other way. You can make your own. This one is science on stage pencil and uh, I've just put some little notches in and a drawing pin and a piece of paper on the end and I can make the paper go round and round if I, there we go, it's going round and round. So that's your challenge to if you make one with a pencil and then get the propeller at the end to move round and round. That's challenge one. Challenge two is then to rub it, make the propeller go round, then make the propeller stop and go the other way. Now, if you watch carefully, you can see how I do it. Watch. Rub, 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 stop. And it goes the other way. So that's your challenge. Maybe make your own, and then get the propeller to work, and get the propeller to go the other way. Be interesting to see the results. Enjoy. The wee wee stick. So <clears throat> what is the secret? Because some people make them and they rub and 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 nothing happens. So how how can you make it? You go one way and then the next. Can you see the difference, what I'm doing? Well, I'll let you into the secret. The secret is that the vibrations from the grooves move up and down, but if, if you can get them to move, not quite up and down, but in a bit of a sort of, uh, <clears throat> maybe a sort of lopsided circle or ellipse or something, you can get the transmission of vibrations to make the, the end go one way, and then the other. The way you do that is to damp one side of the rod. Now how I do it, if you can see my thumb here, is just touching the side. If I touch the side, round and round it goes. Then I touch the other side, and round and round it goes the other way. Of course if I'm clever, you can't see me changing which side is touching. And that's the secret of the wee wee stick. It's sometimes called an idiot stick. These ones came from America. This one I made myself. Bye for now.